This Dajjal, he doesn't wipe out or take over the rule or authority or power in the world really by weapons of mass destruction or, you know, all that stuff. He takes it over by the psychological war. And what do we live in today? What kind of wars do you think today are the strongest and most dangerous wars? It's not the wars of blood, the mass destruction. No, it is the ideological wars that we are living now. You could be living in the most peaceful country and through the internet and television, our youth, our Muslim youth are being destroyed mentally, psychologically. Some of the games that are coming out right now, if you weren't told it was a game and you just saw footage from it, you wouldn't know that it was. It's getting to that point. Musk also talks about the fact that the VR is getting to a point that when people do it, and then they take the helmet off or whatever, they come out. It's like some of the more high-end stuff they got coming out right now. When they're back in actual, real, physical reality that they're in, they feel like the VR was more real than the actual world. That's the level that we're at with this. That video editing technology where a person can take a video of someone, of, of anyone, and make it say whatever they want it to in real time, that we reported on three years ago has only gotten more sophisticated now will go to a dead person, tell a person a bad one. If I bring your parents back to life, would you believe that I am your Lord? He will say yes, he says rise. And two shayateen will come in the image of his parents and will say, son, listen to him, he's your Lord. Do you see Iman is shaken towards core? How do you not believe your eyes? He'll say that I am God. Ana ilahukum. And then they'll say, what proof do you have? He said, only God can raise the dead. He said, okay, what if I raise your parents from the dead? They said, yes, we'll believe your God. So he will be able to get the jinns, the shayateen, to work for him, and they will speak to them. And so the people, non-Muslim people and the weak Muslims will follow him. In fact, Samsung has developed an AI that only needs one image, just one. And they can make it move and talk as if the person in the picture is alive. So for all the cool, realistic, historical reenactments you could make with such a technology, for just one example on one side of the spectrum, you also have to consider the myriad other ways this could be used to fool people into thinking someone said or did something that they never said or did. And how easy that would be. Fake. That's the word. Ersatz. As our technologies get more convincingly real, and begin impinging on the actual reality we experience through the perception of our five senses, things actually seem less real and thus more fake. And the less we can trust anything that we are seeing and hearing.